In this episode, we fulfilled the dreams of a pathetically lonely accountant named Ronald Legan by allowing him to hang out with us. It's the least we could do, considering he's been rubber stamping our expenses, whether they're legitimate or not. So roll up your towel into a pillow, lean back, and prepare to learn about scraps and the price you have to pay to get the password. Shut up and sit down. Welcome once again to the Hitchhikers and Appetizers podcast. Here coming to you, almost live, from Billy Way's, the restaurant at the end of the universe. I am, of course, the large part of your hosting team. I am Horatio Zen. With me, as always, here in Booth 42. He completes me, whether he wants to or not. He's not contractually bound to do it, but he does it anyway, time after time. Trellis Gardine. Trellis, introduce yourself to the people who can't see you. Why should I introduce myself when you literally just introduced me? Because perhaps they weren't listening to me. Perhaps they thought, oh, something more interesting is coming along. Maybe they dropped something. Maybe they caught something out of the corner of their eye and were distracted enough to miss that. Okay. Yes, yes. So once again, Trellis Gardine. Here as always. Uh, I don't know if I'm completing you because, like you said, you're a large part of the show. Yes. And you're taking up so much space. Yes. Relatively speaking, I think I'm taking up 10%. So that really, you're already fairly complete, I guess, is what I would say. I would be, I am 90% of the hosting team. As a physical entity, you are fairly complete. I, I think, I like to think I'm complete. If there's more of me, that seems to be excessive. Well, I would say from the time we spent here, there is more of you. You're expanding yes. a much slower rate than the rest of the universe. Yes, I've collected more Horatio. I think that we're beating this thing to death at this point. We should probably introduce our guests. Yes, I think we should. Uh, we grudgingly, we grudgingly welcome... Ronald Leggins is here. Ronald? Oh, no. Oh, should I call you Mr. Leggins, Sir Ronald Leggins, Sir Leggins? Oh, please call me Ronald. What a, what a pleasure. What an honest pleasure it is to be here with you folks today. You seem much friendlier than I would have expected considering your mission here. Well, my mission here is to keep your mission alive. I want to help you be thriving artists, not starving artists. <laughs> oh, I would rather eat than be able to put my art forward. Yeah, I know. The starving part of artist is not attractive to me. We, we've solved the starving part. That's why I rubber stamp all of your uh, all of your bills on audit. <laughs> I'm the reason you guys are still able to to, to charge whatever you want. We're trying to get a ratio as dense as a neutron star, so when he supernovas, <laughs> he'll blast this cafe back into code. <laughs> I highly anticipate that. I hope. I hope I'm there to see myself turn into a supernova because I think that would be <laughs> that would be most most exciting. What would be the telltale signs that you're about to go supernova? supernova? I imagine that it would be a, a very frontal cortex a load. <laughs> mm. I as it started in the brain. It would start in the brain. Beams of light start shooting out of portions of his head. To yes. Let me know that I should start to make a run for the parking lot and uh, mm -hmm. get out of here as quickly as possible. I would run if I could, but I'm the one exploding, so running probably. I would not want you to come after me. I think I would prefer you just stay here in the booth. If you ever hear him say, I have this immense pressure in, behind my eyes. Mm. <laughs> I have this immense... I'm not saying it now. I'm just writing it down on my napkin here so I know <laughs> to recognize it. It's one of the things that we uh, we, we distribute on the pamphlet <laughs> for how do I know I'm going supernova. That is an excellent pamphlet. Do you have one of your pamphlets with you? Absolutely. Here you go. <laughs> oh, my, oh, look at Trifold. This is look at the I love the cartoon character on here. <laughs> yeah. Very friendly. And then on the last page when he explodes. <laughs> well. It's very friendly, the eyeballs flying and it's, it's lovely. Now Ronald, you say you've been rubber stamping all of our receipts. Are like you're telling us that everything has gone to you that we've submitted? I I found you guys out early. Oh but I hear what you had going on 
and and I really I really appreciate you didn't have to have me on the show. I really appreciate you letting me be on the show. I'm not an in, I'm not that interesting of a character. Oh, everybody is interesting. I think you're fascinating. But I think that the openness and the acceptance that you two share for our uh, our little universe here is uh, is definitely worth uh, uh, shall we say openly philanthropic with some <laughs> the universe's uh, you know looser change. <laughs> Well, when when we got your message on the yes. guy that said, "I know what's going on, and I'm really hungry," <laughs> right? I knew it was a no-brainer. I knew it was a no-brainer to have you on. I saw the "I'm hungry," and I I saw kindred spirit. Mm-hmm. Is what I thought. Well, I can't I, I can't thank you guys <laughs> enough, you know, because uh, oftentimes um, uh, things get so lonely oh. that uh, I'm sensing that I that I feel like you you guys transcend not ground me but transcend me oh i've never done that before i've grounded someone by sitting on them though oh you transcend me (laughs) oh is that one of your original songs are you a songwriter is that what you sing down in your uh on your on your cube when i'm feeling down when i'm feeling low uh you know sometimes i have little uh i have little uh, action figures you know from your 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 first deal right uh, the classics yeah the classics yes uh, you, you <laughs> created action figures of horatio and myself what yes i just accepted that without thinking I, I mean, I could could have just been some fan, you know, uh, some fan fiction that uh, that I bought, uh, fan fiction. <laughs> thinking that they were licensed. Are, are you telling me that I have unlicensed figurines? They they could be. They could be uh, uh, customized. They wouldn't be if we autographed them for you. That's true. Do you have them with you? Well, of course I do. Why don't we place them right in the middle of the table? I, I notice you're pulling them out of your pants. Oh. Well, uh, that's where I keep my pockets. I don't know about you, sir. <laughs> They're very warm figures. I prefer my pockets on the sleeves, but eh, you know, whatever. Uh, that's its way. And there is uh, there is a ratio. There's there's um, a couple of uh, of, of buttercream uh, crumbs mm. on on Horatio there Lovely. because sometimes I give you nibbins of whatever I'm eating. <laughs> yes, you know me so well. The attention to detail is impressive. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I think they're great. Right? <laughs> the density on that Horatio figurine. <laughs> <laughs> on the trellis figure, because it's molded in plastic, it really looks like me. It really looks like all of the plastic surgery I've had. This is very accurate. It's got that classic trellis. Right. Classic trellis, non-realistic skin. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. That's perfect. And as I turn it around here, I see... That there are mood skid settings on here so you can change the mood from you know red for angry blue for or uh inquisitive uh yellow for happy and green for envy <laughs> there's there's more but at least you got the basics covered i assume this is a starter kit the baboon b- <laughs> the baboon what what is this the, the, the baboon butt setting yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know they're ready for mating <laughs> you scamp you scamp that is how you know you're ready for mating, isn't it, uh, Travis? Oh, yes. I mean, it doesn't everybody. Did the butt glow? Your butt glows. Let's be honest. We're all naked under all these clothes. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. Very insightful. Some of us more than others. I mean, Horatio has a lot of naked. I have a lot of space to cover. Yes. Exactly. Your epidermis is showing. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get us thrown out of here with that kind of talk. I'll cover that up right away. Sometimes I just get so giddy with you guys. I mean, I feel like I've known you for just eons now. This is lovely. A little bit uncomfortable, but lovely. Well, I'm glad we add a little levity to your work life and that we could have you on. To do, I mean, were you able to get out of the office uh, unseen? Did you just say you're going to have a an extra long lunch? Did you tell him you had a doctor's appointment? I am on my sabbatical, my my uh, oh yeah, my forty-year sabbatical. So this is kind of a nice yeah, this is kind of a dream come true for me. I plan on being here in the area for uh, the next the next four months. Oh, lovely! Four, four, four of them. Four. 
months. You know, just kind of peeking at you over a booth here and there, maybe. Uh, maybe looking in, inside your ship windows when, when you're sleeping. Little things. All here. All, all right here. All looking at us. Hmm. Oh, that's that's nice that someone would, would care that, that, that much. That much to make sure we're getting the, the full amount of rest that we require to digest and do the show. You might just hear a little... A little tap 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 on the on a window on the side of your ship and when you hear that you'll know uh, it's Ronald Leggins. <laughs> Ronald Leggins staring at us. Be, it's Ronald Leggins. <laughs> no, that's, that's not a little song that we can trigger emotions with. I'd make it my phone ring if I had one. <laughs> if you had a phone ring, you should get a phone ring. I understand phones are much more practical when you can know someone's calling you. Well, the, the guide works well enough for me. We get messages yeah, through there. The guide, there's not, the just, not there's no audio. So I am curious, what what makes Ronald Leggins tick? What got you into the auditing and accounting game? Well, my my love of numbers. Oh, mm. I think anybody who can, uh, can who can figure yes, yes. something yes. within uh, a standard deviation yes, mm-hmm. yes. on the first try in this universe has <laughs> really got some special kind of functional autism. <laughs> no, this, that would be you. That would be you. That would be me. I mean, this guy. Is there a particular reason you have an affection for numbers? Do you spend a lot of time with numbers as a child? It's the closed numbers that I have the most affinity for. Uh, because they remind me, uh, you know, a lot of my, a lot of myself. I would thought of it. I would have thought as a child you would have spent more time with imaginary numbers. Well, you know, we we like to call those uh, integers, right? <laughs> variables. Very, oh, naughty, naughty terms. Those are euphemisms. Yeah, variables. You know that they they can they can make a lot of sense in formula. Yes. Yes. But it it, it all doesn't wash. You know what I mean? When when it all comes out at the end. Uh, well, I'm glad you're balancing our numbers. Yes. To keep us eating, because I, when I found the loophole that lets us submit a story and a receipt at the same time, I'm not gonna lie, I was happy, and that's what that's what got me and, and Horatio in this booth you're sitting in right now. This is why we're here. And and it's a way that brought you here as well. Yeah, it's nice. It's a it's it's a program, right? It puts you on a path that you did not know you were on. A, a path that I have every intention of staying on mm. for my foreseeable <laughs> sabbatical. I can see. I, I also I just noticed the, the, the T-shirt, your T-shirt there with our images on it. Right. I, I don't think that's licensed. <laughs> well. Did you make that yourself? I did. I. It's a heavy crochet. It really is. Uh, you know, I, I have a knit one, pearl two, when I'm uh, yeah. a little, uh, <laughs> little uh, knitting. I get I get a, a skein yes. or three of thread. Is that Rashino wool? It is. It is. I, I I thought so. That's Horatio. Yes. He's using the finest wool. We are we have been been memorialized in the, in the finest wool. And look look at this. Every every bit every hair on my beard has been realized in detail on here. This is. It's almost like I'm looking right at you. I modeled I modeled it off of the figurines, the not licensed figurines. <laughs> <laughs> They're very realistic. I, the hair. What you see on the back here, is that, and those those baboon butts are turned to glow. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen my butt on a a, a, a t-shirt. Anymore. I'm wondering if you can get a hold of a few more of those. We we might be able to make them a popular item over in the gift shop. Yes. Yes. Well, it's not a matter of get a hold. It's a matter of put the love and time in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got four months. And then from what it sounds like, not a lot of interaction at work either. I think, you know, no one's in there watching you. We won't tell anybody. I will I will knit my little hearts out for you. <laughs> oh, I love it. How many hearts do you have? Three. Three. Very good. One for each of us. <laughs> Very one for you, one for me, and one for Horatio. Yes. I left my heart. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm sensing, again, that you, because you said it directly, that, that there's a certain amount of loneliness in your life. Well, I think that's true of anyone, don't no. you think? 
course, but it seems like there may be more. Trellis says no. <laughs> Tre Trellis is not... You've never been lonely, Trellis. No, I have not. Spoken like the true plastic man we all love. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I mean, well, you just said it. We, we all love. Everybody loves me. I... How could I possibly be lonely? I, uh, I, uh, I'm going to take into about everyone loving you. I'm not sure. There, there are some guests we've had that I'm not sure they walked away with full of affection for Trellis. How about they all loved me at some point? Yes, maybe when they first knew, before they got to know you. Now, that's what I love the most about your, uh, your, your down to yes. the planet. <laughs> kind of mentality is that you always manage to bring it down to the, the least common enumerator. Mm -hmm. Math, once mm -hmm. again, the math. I, 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 I try to be something that, that the other beings could relate to in a way if they were slumming it. That's how I try to be. Uh, I, I've been called a zero, but you know, anything divided by zero is what? infinity no oh, i thought it would be zero that's the spin i've put on it throughout my life to keep myself pushing forward i think i'm gonna question your math <laughs> <laughs> there's much more about trellis to question than just math yeah why start there there's there's so many more interesting things to question me about so i i'm going to assume oh, i'm sorry go right ahead you, you're about to say something. the one the one question that i had that uh yes that for me or for Horatio? Or for both of us? For both of you. Okay. With your universal records of of incarceration, <laughs> how, how you've been able to to craft your own your own jobs in this world is truly remarkable. I am going to continue to rubber stamp anything that you guys need to charge here. <laughs> oh. Keep your business going, keep yourselves thriving. We were trying to keep it a little bit sensible. Bit on the down low. But if it's a, if this is, if you're saying we have a complete rubber stamp. You have been any, anything but sensible. The only way that you two aren't linked, linked and clinked up right now is because of yours truly right here. <laughs> we we do appreciate. I do you have the stamp with you by chance? Oh oh well, That's it's not so much so much of a stamp as it is a login. A stamp would be lovely, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, nice you have to log in. I have the login right here. In your brain. Ronald Ronald Leggins' login is right here in the curler. Mm-hmm. You, mm -hmm. you, have a, a, you have a password that I'm assuming. Well, sure. Are you saying you have the password up there or the your, your, user, your username? I have them both. Has anyone ever tried to pry it from your noggin? Oh, man, I would... I would so love that opportunity. You don't want it to be in there? To have physical contact with anyone. I thought you wanted someone to pry knowledge from your brain. You just want the physical contact. Well, I wouldn't mind if that was a... How about login and password for a hug? No. Oh. Ratio. You want me to give him a login and password? Oh, you want... I, want I you. get... You want my... Oh, oh, well, you guys aren't the only account that I'm responsible for. That would that would be a real lax in my fiduciary duties. Oh, oh, oh this is, is there anyone else that, that, that you, you... Lax or more efficient? Oh. One less account to deal with, you give more attention to the others. He makes a good point. That's kind of hard to argue with. <laughs> would it be a hug from just Horatio, or would it be a... Uh, two hugs. It it could be a two individual hugs or a group hug, but none of them lasting more than three seconds. <laughs> well, that sounds. Or six seconds total if it's the group hug. That sounds a little strict, don't you think? That's good. I'm a numbers guy. I got to go by the numbers. Once you throw in a selfie, it gets very very expensive. It can't just be you know randomly ended. You know you like you said you're a numbers guy. You got to have some sort of uh, limit on it. The, the limit can't be from one to infinity. We aren't, you know. Is it gonna be a, a one and? A? Are you gonna give me an and a in between the the the, the integers? Uh, so three seconds and then a one. One and a two and, and a three. That would lengthen it. Instead of just going one, two, three, 
one and a two, and that gives extra time for, for touching. I mean, we're actually talking about seconds. What, what form of measurement are we talking about? Oh, yes, what time? What time are we? It depends on what, what planet, what the revolutions of the sun. Thank you. Our, hours become weeks, minutes become days. Very multicultural of you, Horatio. I, know how to, I don't know how to convert things, but I'd like to pretend. Well, if, I don't think you want to go with Zin's Connecticus's lifespan of 45 minutes, because that would really make your seconds not very yes. uh, long at all. Right. Zin's Connecticus Gardein is, of course, our prophet. Yes. And mine, too. I am in do you, do you, have, have you ever thought about starting a set? And his own P-R-O-F-I-T. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. P-R-O. Oh, Prophet, yes, yes. If you wanted to maybe perhaps, you know, join him, he does exit out the garbage chute mm. uh, when he comes to visit. Now, um, we don't know what direction in which he goes. And you could be the deciding vote back on the mountain because there's only six people there right now and so you could be the swing vote again a numbers game you could be the most important person on that planet other than us and their lifespan's only 45 seconds minutes 45 minutes minutes Minutes. my lord all for the low low cost of a username and password and hugs and hugs 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 what you would get username password I mean, it seems kind of naughty, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But that's the appeal, really. <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, exactly. That's the draw, the magnetism, the. That's the frosting. The, oh, I shouldn't touch the hot burner, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. I mean, it, it was it was a lovely cake anyway with the the vanilla filling, uh, the but then when you put that buttercream frosting on top, yes, it becomes <laughs> something else entirely. It's it's the zesty sauce on Horatio's shrimp. Mm. That almost sounded like a euphemism. <laughs> boom, boom, shrimp. <laughs> of course you know about us, so you knew I love boom, boom, shrimp. I have rubber stamped a, a boom, boom, shrimp meal or two, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you're itemizing? You're not just seeing the total? You're actually looking at what we're eating? Well, I... That's a little... I like to imagine sometimes when I'm listening to the podcasts that I'm sharing the menu with you that I'm at the table like I am right now. <laughs> oh, this is... Did you actually create a menu? Did you, like, itemize all the items we've eaten and create your own Millieways menu in your cube? Well, they're already itemized on the receipt. <laughs> I get a copy. Well, I meant you took them <laughs> yeah. and you put them into a document of your own and created your own menu for yourself. Well, for... Does your cube look like our booth? <laughs> I mean, it it sounds like your it sounds like your booth. <laughs> now that I've gotten here to the booth, I could do some sprucing up. You know, I mean, I. How close did you get to to how it looks? Not close at all. No. I, I was completely on the wrong side uh... of how this place looked. Uh, I kind of had more of a 50s kind of a diner thing going yeah, on. Yes, yes, yes. The 20, <laughs> yes, yes, 2050. I assume our action figures were in the wrong spots as well. No, no, no. I think your um your stereophonics are just fine in placement. Oh, so it could tell you where we are. Very good. That's, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys have recording down. It is gorgeous to listen to you. That is that is lovely. <laughs> as as the semi that I I want to so I'm I'm assuming, and I again I I feel like I might be digging down into some emotional area. Family? Do you have family? Do you have fr- you don't? Would have anybody fr- miss, miss you? Yes. Would anybody you were... miss you if you were gone? Hmm. Well, I I think my scats would. I think we have established that no one, you, you, no one's going to miss you if something. Well, I believe I said happen. my scats would. The scats would just. Would they? Have, 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 have you have you uh, thought about some, in case something happened to you? What what? How will your scats will be taken care of? Have you made arrangements for someone to adopt? Perhaps. Well, I have had some people adopt one or two of my scats. Um, uh, um, Please don't tell me you have us in your will 
as the guardianship. Well, I didn't want to be too forward, but since you broached the subject, it would make this Ronald Leggins so happy. Did I just back myself into this? I think you so did. I think, I think if you had not mentioned it, I think we would not have been confronted by this, Travis. Oh my, uh, I, I can't even imagine you guys caring this much about me, but it's just perfect, because Matt, it's... You can imagine all you want. Imagine all you want. <laughs> you guys can come down to Scatman do anytime you want. <laughs> Scatman, Scat is that the actual name or is that the, what you called it? Scatman do is the name of my home office. All right. I'm sorry. I have to take a moment and reflect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so much information. While you're reflecting, just sign this form, and then you will be. Can I get my hug out of the you way? You will be guardianship of all my scats. I, I, I'm going to give you the hug first. How about that? Uh, I'm going to come in and try to hug you. Trellis has to aim. He has to aim. This isn't going to create any scats, is it? Uh, I'm not going to blow this. No, don't uh, squeeze him too hard, Trellis. Don't squeeze right. him too I am not going to blow this. Horatio, I'm gonna go... count, count off the three for me, would you please? I'm going to go right arm up. Uh, wait, do you want me to count down? Uh, a one uh, and a two uh. I didn't right start yet. Up. Wait, oh, wait. I'm, I know. I was practicing. I, I'm coming in right arm up. Right arm high. Uh, so All right. I, we I see this. Go right arm up. Low, left arm. Left wait, arm wait. low. Oh, God. Oh, there Three we go. Hearts. Okay. Beating touching. yes. One. Oh, one uh, oh, wait. Let me start over. Sorry. Let me start over. Uh. Oh, one. Uh, and a two. Uh, and a, oh, wait. No, wait. Was I supposed to count down from three? Uh, that was three. No, that was three. Are you that sure? Yes. I wanted to make sure you... That, that uh, Ronald got his va good value there. He did. Trust me. Trellis, I've I've crossed oceans of time for you. This is lovely. This is lovely. And I'm sure it's very uncomfortable for Trellis, which makes it much more entertaining for me. Oh, God, you have no idea. What is that? This was worse than my divorce. With the 23 divorces at one time. What is yes. that? I believe you left some residue on Trellis's shirt. Oh. What is that? Wait, where is it? What is ah. that? It's just a little scat. It's a scat. Ah! Ah, oh, your own bit of scat. Is that what I, I call him? Yeah. I call him Be Nimble. Be Nimble. <laughs> we certainly nimbly jumped uh, onto Horatio. I am not putting eyes on him. <laughs> I think you made a friend. It might have been something, uh, something symbolic in there. I don't understand quite yet. Well, what? you, you're. Hey, guess what? Your hug is still coming, buddy. Oh, is that required? Two, two Would hugs. Would you like yes. one, two, Horatio? Like, like is such a, such a big word, uh, with so many definitions. I, uh, it, 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 um, like. What, what? I, 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 I feel you're staring at me. You're staring at me with your you arms out. You sound as though you sound as though you're becoming some sort of a of a person who doesn't know how to choose their words. Yes! Oh, what? There should be a word for that, shouldn't there? What Stop is there? stalling. Is there a called, a, called a coward. I, I noticed I notice the way that your arms are out and you're staring at me like you're waiting. So I'm assuming that, that, that this hug is not just symbolic. That this is a real hug. Here I stand uh, we, with open arms. Was mine symbolic? We, no, yours was very real. We, yeah. it, bring, <laughs> just, 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 just get it over. Just bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, I'm is... engulfing you. I'm engulfing you. One and so a two yeah, and oh, this, this is, oh, this is, oh, oh, this is three. This is oh, that oh, and away. That was much more moist than I expected it to be. And that is both my login and password. What? What? What is it again? Moist. What you both just got is my login and password. Wait, was this a symbol? Are you tricking it or, or you hug you hug your computer to get it to start? I do. I do. You you have a love machine, in other words. It's you a have a love physical. machine. Physical. And it don't work for nobody but you. <laughs> and uh, you. <laughs> this is this is I I'm overwhelmed. This I'm once again becoming that we can't, must find a word for someone who can't find what words they're looking to use. Well, the cherry on top is for you to now follow in the steps of a prophet. The 
Prophet Zinn Schenectica's Gardine the 3000th through 6007th. Yes. Because he exits out the garbage disposal. Ooh. Yes, he does. Which is where all, I think, the scats go. Well, figuratively, it's where they come from. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the exact More of a, point, yeah. an origin story. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. They are from dust, and to dust they shall return. Yes, asses to asses, <laughs> from nachos to gas, asses to asses, uh, so. scat to scat. Yeah. Uh, now it does lead out into the vacuum of space, but that this suddenly got very warm in here, cold and warm at the same time. Is someone else making a scat? Could be. Now don't worry. Even though we're not near the end of the time, uh, the end of the universe no, quite yet. No. Out the garbage chute, into the vacuum, and I'm sure you'll make it through if you can hold your breath long enough. I brought my own mask. It's not my oh. first time listening to this show for you know out. That, <laughs> he, fellas, he came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> can I see that mask? Yeah, sure. It, would it fit me? Let me see. Oh, it does. Oh, oh this is. As if it was actually modeled on my head. What are you doing with that foot? Uh, it's oh, okay. kicking me into the garbage uh, yeah. <laughs> And flush. This oh, was, he just hit the dough. He hit the dough. Oh, he's, oh. And he's doing the slide down, the slide down the dough. The slide down the dough. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was, that was most enlightening, wasn't it? Oh. All I know is we got the password and the login, and we can rubber stamp our expenses. What are we going to do if he makes it actually into the next universe? What do we... I don't, I, you know what I just realized? We don't, we don't have a hold of his actual computer. We have the login and password, we don't have the actual computer. Maybe we can the connect hug. to it through the guide on the sub -Ether. We may have to go retrieve him and find out. You do it. You do it! I, I guarantee we can get in through the through the guide. I'm not worried about it. Well, it's, all on a, it's all networked. We just got to find it. And was, um, oh wait, no, 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 he's, no oh, he's, he's God, he's still there. He's tapping he is clinging, the clinging to the outside of the dome and just <laughs> tap, tap. That is a hell of a grip. He is tapping out that song. He is tapping out that. Oh, everyone oh, hears it. Everyone hears it. I, I don't think we need an entry. I think uh, we just need a moment of silence or something at this point. Ah, I, all I can smell is scat. Oh. Thank you for joining us for Hitchhikers and Appetizers. And of course, special thanks goes to our guest, Ronald Leggins. I have been Horatio Zen. And I continue to be Trellis Gardine. Until next time, keep your towels clean. And if you're a lunatic space scientist who is trapped in a hell realm of your own making, at least you've got the souls of those you've killed to keep you company. So don't panic. Everything you heard in this episode was improvised, but not everything improvised was heard. This episode of Hitchhikers and Appetizers featured the voice talents of Mike Gorgone as Trellis Gardine, Brand Peacock as Horatio Zinn, and George Fawnen as Ronald Leggins. Finally, Hitchhikers and Appetizers is part of the Improv in Action Network. Check out other great improvised podcasts and projects at improvinaction.com. If you'd like to reach out to Trellis or Horatio, you can send electronic messages to them at our galaxy address, hitchappspodcast at gmail.com. Or you can find them on Twitter with the handle Hitch Apps. Shut up and sit down.